fights against the UN and for unifying. For nothing will be impossible with God. Luke 1 37. Then Yahweh stretched out his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahweh said to me, Behold, I've put my words in your mouth. See, today I've appointed you, Dominique, over kingdoms to uproot and to tear down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me saying, What do you see? Dominica. I answered, I see an almond branch. Then Yahweh said to me, you have seen correctly, for I'm watching over my word to perform it. Jeremiah 1, 9 to 12. And now, the United Nations, the United Nations was established after World War II in an attempt to maintain international peace and security and to achieve cooperation among nations on economic, social and humanitarian problems. Its forerunner was the League of Nations, an organization conceived under similar circumstances. Following World War I, established in 1919 under the Treaty of Versailles to promote international cooperation and to achieve peace and security. The League of Nations ceased its activities after it failed to prevent global war. UNIFI claims that the UN has failed to do the same plus much more. In June 26, 1945, in San Francisco, the United Nations was formally established with the signing of the UN Charter Article 111 of this charter indicated that the present charter of which the Chinese, French, Russian, English and Spanish texts are equally authentic shall remain deposited in the archives of the government of the United States of America. Duly certified copies thereof shall be transmitted by that government to the government of the other signatory states. The name United Nations originated with President Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1941, when he described the countries fighting against the Axis powers, Germany, Italy and Japan, in World War II. The name was first used officially on January 1, 1942, when the Jews were burning in the Nazi ovens of Auschwitz and many more. When 26 states joined in the declaration by the United Nations pledging to continue their joint war effort and not to make peace separately. As outlined in the Charter, the two main bodies of the United Nations are the General Assembly, composed of all member nations and the Security Council today. Nearly 200 nations are members of the United Nations General Assembly. The UN Security Council consists of the five victors from World War II, known as the Big Five, as permanent members, China, France, the United Kingdom, the USSR, now Russia, and the United States, and 10 other countries elected by the General Assembly that serve two-year terms. The Security Council is the principal UN organ responsible for ensuring peace and its decisions are binding on all member states. The five permanent members were given individual veto power over issues brought before the Council. Other special agencies like the WHO, World Health Organization, UNICEF, UN International Children's Emergency Fund, UNESCO, UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, and the World Bank and UNRWA, Palestinian Refugees Welfare, provide needed help across the world because the UN has forfeited its charter by one, not denouncing the October 7th massacre against 22 Israeli peace-loving communities and murdering 1,200 civilians in the Gaza border. The UN is biased. It does not defend Israeli civilians, attacked, butchered, raped, burned, and kidnapped by Hamas. But it fights for the Gaza civilians that elected Hamas. Many participated with Hamas murdering, kidnapping, and looting and looting Israeli peace-loving communities and many sympathizers with Hamas and cooperated. UNRWA's participation in the massacre. Three, UNRWA's participation in the massacre. Four, 12% at least of UNRWA's officers are members of a terror organization. Hamas and many more are sympathizers. Five, UNRWA's headquarters in Hamas ruled Gaza became terror base operations, housing weapons, Hamas terrorists and launching pads for rockets against Israel. Six, hospitals, schools and mosques became terror base operations under the eyes of the UN and UNRWA and the UN did not denounce it and stop it. Seven, Hamas terror tunnels were built under hospitals, schools and mosques with the full knowledge of UNRWA officials in Gaza and the UN did not stop it. Eight, money sent via UNRWA in Gaza have been used to fund the building of terror tunnels, acquire weapons and rockets by Hamas and supporting many of its activities that caused the massacre of October 7th. 9. The UN has constantly bashed Israel more than any other country, thus showing it is anti-Semitic and anti-Zionist. 10. The UN 
crafted the partition plan in 1947 that eventually led to the Oslo Accords, the establishing of the PA, the rise of the Palestinian authorities, the rise of Hamas in Gaza, countless of terror attacks on Israelis culminating on the October 7th massacre. 11. The UN forfeited its charter to keep international peace. The UN forfeited its chapter charter to keep international peace and security for all nations by not denouncing or dismantling Hamas, thus preventing security for Israeli civilians and Gaza civilians that are used by Hamas as human shields. 12. This earthly and heavenly court of the United Nations for Israel accuses the UN of collaborating with at least one terror organization called Hamas and possibly many more. Whereas the creator of the nations is Yahweh, the God of Israel, this court states that the UN has rebelled against the authority of the creator of heaven and earth and has betrayed the trust placed on it by humanity and the nations entrusted to it. 14. Thus the UN is not fit to provide peace and security to the nations it claims to represent. 15. The United Nations for Israel demands unify, demands the immediate dismantling of the UN charter starting with UNRWA. 16. Unify demands the immediate investigation, arrest and imprisonment of all UN UNRWA officials, collaborators of Hamas. 17. As the president of Unify and a prophet, messenger of the God of Israel, I now declare, I now declare the partition plan of Palestine dead, the Oslo Accords cancelled and burned to ashes, and the two-state solution plan dissolved forever, whereas any nation that divides the covenant land of Israel from the river of Egypt to the Euphrates finds itself in the valley of judgment, thus the UN is now judged as guilty of attempting to divide Yahweh's land given to the nation of Israel forever. 18. Unify demands the immediate dismantling of the Palestinian authorities that has collaborated with Hamas and has taught in its schools the hatred of Israel, removing the name of Israel from its maps, that the name of Israel be remembered no more. 19. Unify demands the immediate indictment of the Biden-Obama administration for pushing Israel to national suicide during the time of war for its existence by demanding to reward the massacre of October 7th with the establishing of a Palestinian state. 20. Whereas the UN does not qualify as representing the sheep nations mentioned in Zechariah 2, Unify demands its complete dismantling, approved and destruction as done to the Tower of Babel in Genesis 11. 21. We call on all member nations to exit the UN and rescue their lives. Legal scriptural basis. Whereas the UN has tried to usurp the place of the creator of the nations, the God of Israel and his word, by discriminating against Israel constantly and by attempting to divide his land given to the nation of Israel forever. Then they said, come, let's build ourselves a city with a tower whose top reaches into heaven. So let's make a name for ourselves or else we will be scattered over the face of the whole land. Then Adonai came down to see the city and the tower that the sons of man had built. Yahweh said, look, the people are one and all of them have the same language. So this is what they have begun to do now. Nothing they plan to do will be impossible. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there so that they will not understand each other's language. So Yahweh scattered them. From there, over the face of the entire land, and they stopped building the city. This is why it is named Babel, because Yahweh confused the languages of the entire world. There. And from there, Yahweh scattered them over the face of the entire world. Genesis 11, 4 to 9. You, Elohe Israel, we ask you, Elohe Israel, to come down and dismantle the UN. Two. Whereas the UN crafted the partition plan leading to the Oslo Accords, a two-state solution, and the establishing of the Palestinian Authority, we demand the UN be put in the Valley of Judgment for beholding those days and at that time, when I restore Judah and Jerusalem from exile, I will gather all nations and bring them down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them there on behalf of my people, even my inheritance Israel, whom they scattered among the nations, and they divided up my land. Joel 4. 1 to 2. Whereas the UN based UNRWA organization cooperated with Hamas in Gaza and the massacre against Israeli civilians and of 41 other nations on October 7th, we demand your judgment to fall upon UNRWA and the entire UN until it is completely void of authority and uprooted from the face of the earth. Because of your violence, to your brother Jacob, shame will cover you and you will be cut off forever on the day that you stood aloof, on the day that strangers carried away his wealth while foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem. You were just like one of them. You should not look down on your brother on the day of his
is disaster. Nor should you rejoice over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. You should not speak proudly in the day of their distress. Do not enter the gate of my people in the day of their disaster. Yes, you do not gloat over misery, their misery in the day of their disaster. Yes, you do not look their wealth in the day of their calamity. Do not stand at the crossroads to cut down his fugitives. And do not imprison his survivors in the day of distress. For the day of Adonai is near, Yahweh is near against all the nations as you have done. It shall be done to you. Your dealing will return on your own head. For just as you have drunk on my holy mountain, so all the nations shall drink continually. Yes, they will drink and gulp down and then be as though they had never existed. But on Mount Zion there will be deliverance and it will be holy. Then house of Jacob will dispossess those who dispossess them. The house of Jacob will be fire and the house of Joseph a flame. While the house of Esau will be strong. They will set them on fire and consume them. So there will be no survivors of the house of Esau. For Yahweh has spoken. Yahweh has spoken of Adai 1, 10 to 18. Whereas the UN has gathered together to constantly attack, denounce, and bash the state of Israel, depriving it of any justice, and whereas the Palestinian Authority has removed the name of Israel from its textbooks, and whereas the textbooks used by UNRWA and Gaza teach hatred against the Jewish people and the state of Israel, and because Hitler's book Mein Kampf was found in the UNRWA run school in Gaza, God, do not keep silent, do not hold your peace, O God, do not be still, for look, your enemies make an uproar, those who hate you lift up their head, they make a shrewd plot against your people, conspiring against your treasured ones come they say let's wipe them out as a nation let Israel's name be remembered no more for with one mind they plot together against you they make a covenant the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites Moab and the Hagrites Gebal Ammon and Amalek Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre even Assyria has joined them becoming a strong arm for Lot's son Sila do to them as you did to Midian to Sisran Yavin the Kishon river who perished at Endor they became as dung for the ground make their nobles like Korav and Zeev all their princes like Zevach and Salmuna who said let us Take possession of the pasture lands of God. My God, make them like tumbleweed, like chaff before the wind, as the fire burns a forest, and as the blame sets, flame sets the mountains ablaze. So pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame so they may seek your name, Adonai. Let them be ashamed and dismayed forever. Let them be humiliated and perish. Let them know that you alone, whose name is Yahweh, are El Elyon over all the earth. Five. And whereas you, El Shaddai, Yahweh Adonai, promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that you will bless those who bless their descendants and utter a word of complete destruction and annihilation against those people and nations that take Israel lightly. We unify demand that this key given to Abraham be put in the curse closed position for the UN, all its charters, buildings, sub-organizations, finances, authorities, and influence as you promised in your word. Six, we ask you, God of Israel, to spare the nations that have defunded UNRWA. Spare the nations that have defunded UNRWA, that have stood by Israel in the UN, giving them time to exit this accursed and doomed organization before its full destruction. Seven, we ask you, Yavet Svaot, to raise up favor, fund, anoint, and bless United Nations for Israel for such a time as this and forever, as this is the community of sheep nations bringing blessing, justice, and shalom to the nations by standing with your people Israel as Ruth with Naomi and upholding your land covenant with them up to 1,000 generations. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming and I will live among you. It is the declaration of Yahweh. In that day, many nations will join themselves to Yahweh and they will be my people and I will dwell among you. Then you will know that Yahweh Tzavod has sent me to you. Yahweh will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land and will once again choose Jerusalem. Jerusalem, be silent before Yahweh all flesh, for he has aroused himself from his holy dwelling Zechariah 2 14 to 17 this manifesto has been done today on this 20th of February 2024 in the building of the United Nations in New York City I give you praise that already all the 21 points of the case against the UN have been declared and the case for unify the United Nations for Israel I thank you Abba that as my feet has gone in, my feet with my shoes that have walked Kfar Aza, that have walked and have the ashes imprinted on the soles of my feet, have walked the UN building, releasing the judgment that is written. Okay. So these are the shoes that walked Kfar Aza. And my feet and these shoes are now walking inside of the UN building, releasing the judgment that is written and it's irreversible in Yeshua's mighty name. At the same time, of a special mercy to those that throughout the years and the nations that throughout the years 
have helped the Jewish people or have been favorable to Israel to have enough time to do a UN exit in Yeshua's mighty name. Exit the UN. And those that are predestined for salvation, predestined for your kingdom. As I blow the shofar, I declared this is sealed in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach forever cannot be revoked.